yet poignant day in Uvalde, Texas. Families gathering yesterday to mark one year since the Robb Elementary School massacre. Now, in the days and weeks following that shooting, the entire country mourned the 19 kids and two teachers killed. But then many people moved on. Unfortunately, for the people of Uvalde, Texas, there is no moving on as they relive the trauma nearly every single day. And that is the reality for fifth grader Caitlin Gonzalez, whose only concern should be making summer plans with her friends. But instead, she's undergoing intense therapy for PTSD. Caitlin survived the shooting. But as her mother tells our Addie Guajardo, along with relief, there's also been remorse. One piano stroke and one note at a time through music therapy. I shouldn't have to be here right now, but I am because my friends don't have a voice no more. And advocacy. Fifth grader Caitlin Gonzalez. Now I have PTSD. He's on a healing journey. What kind of scary stuff? Uh, like gunshots or he's seen the police break our glass. Trauma driving her to call for change. No more silence and gun violence. A mission in the name of friends she lost in the mass shooting at Robb Elementary School a year ago. Jackie, Eliana, and Annabelle. Why is it so important for you to tell their stories? So that it can't happen anywhere else. Navigating this journey has not been an easy one. Her mother, Gladys Gonzalez, says she sought therapy for her daughter at the Uvalde Together Resiliency Center. She had reoccurring nightmares, um, an increase in anxiety. Caitlin only regressed. I had to go through an alternative route, and that was to go to EMDR. It stands for eye movement desensitization and reprocessing. It's a mental health treatment technique involving eye movement to help heal from trauma a form of therapy offered in San Antonio, an hour and a half from home. Gonzalez wants more mental health resources offered locally. In 2022, Governor Greg Abbott invested $5 million to establish the Long-Term Resiliency Center in Uvalde to help provide crisis counseling and help the community heal. The grant is two years, and you think $5 million is a lot of money, but it goes very quickly. You ready? I see Caitlin and I'm blessed to say that I have her, but at the same time, it's, you get that guilt. You know, so many other families who are living with that void. A void and a grief. Sometimes I feel sad, sometimes I feel mad. Felt in public and in private. So That was Addie Guajardo reporting there for us. And joining me now is Texas State Senator Roland Gutierrez.